This event is all about the role of science into the agricultural sector and what could play innovation in the agricultural sector. Through research innovation, we can offer tremendous opportunities to improve the food systems. We can make it more economic, we can make it more environmentally sustainable, we can make it more productive, all these things. But innovation by itself, of course, will not do the trick if we do not provide the proper regulatory environment to accommodate the innovation. That's why at the level of the Commission we have introduced this innovation principle to test a new regulation and new regulatory frameworks to see if indeed they are innovation proof as well. Innovation always has three pillars, that is research and development and implementation. And we feel that the EU has a, has a very big role to play uh, at the farmer point of view uh, in that last one, in implementation, making sure that farmers can implement the, the innovations that are being uh, provided. I think there is a role uh, of the institutions of the EU in help funding innovation if we look at, at things like uh, Horizon 2020 and, and beyond, of course, the FP9, that is one thing. But the other thing, and I believe that's equally important, is uh, that the institutions should help to provide uh, innovation-friendly regulatory framework. We should be careful when we talk about innovation because there is no magic stick uh, to actually tackle the challenge and it's the environmental challenges in front of us. Uh, greenhouse gas emission, biodiversity loss, water pollution, all those challenges will require first to change the overall food sectors, including our consumption. And of course, then technology could play a role and help, but that should be not the focus of our attention. Our focus should be on changing the overall food system, having a holistic approach. Small farmers uh, can and must be and will be actually part of the solution. This, uh, they know the land uh, best, they know their environment best. This, uh, and new technologies offers them tremendous opportunities to go about the business in a much more economic way. For instance, uh, through precision farming, by the use of drones, uh, by the using of uh, ICT technologies, they can be much more precise in the way they culture their land, the way they apply pesticides and use pesticides, the way they apply and use uh, fertilizers. Uh, by doing this, uh, not only they improve the yield of uh, their production, but also they do a much better job in uh, terms of uh, environmental sustainability. So at the end of the day, that will be a win-win situation for the farms and for the customers. Innovation is, is more than just that, that robotic or the real high-tech uh, innovation. Innovation can also be a new market segment. Uh, it can also be uh, gene editing uh, in, in crops, which is beneficial for everybody who uses it, whether it is on a large or a, or a small scale. Um, but again, also those technological uh, innovations can be, uh, can be helpful. Look at, at what the smartphone has done for society, also for farmers, uh, in, in order to manage their farm from a, a touchscreen. What is extremely important is uh, societal acceptance of, of innovation. We have to do more debate about innovation and what it brings to society at the end of the day. Thank you.